at grade 11 level, you've done two identities. You've done the sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Okay, and what you've got to learn to do with these guys is every time you see that, you could, but shouldn't always, replace it with that. And every time you see that, you could, but shouldn't always, replace it with that. And it's tricky to figure out when um, you need to do the replacement and when not. The other one that you've done is that sine theta over cos theta equals tan theta. And we've already used this when we have equations that have sine and cos in them that make tan. So that's useful, not particularly in these equations that I'm talking about now. So to change a tan into something with a fraction would probably not help. Um, there definitely are instances where that is possible and useful, but for the purposes of what I want to teach you right now, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so let's say you get an example that is 2 sine squared minus sine theta minus cos squared minus sine squared. Okay, so it has the look of something that could involve grouping, excepting that you have a cos squared and a sine squared, the angles are the same. And what would be really helpful is if you could recognize that that is actually negative 1. So I'm not going to take anything out here, because what's going to happen now is it's going to become a trinomial. You'll see. Let me take out a negative 1, and then I'm left with cos squared plus sine squared. Okay, so obviously that is 1. You can probably see it now. And if you times anything by 1, you haven't done anything. So what I'm actually left with is 2 sine squared theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals 0. And that is a trinomial that is quadratic. So you're going to get your two answers out. You're going to factorize. You're going to get um, two brackets. You're going to get two answers out for each bracket. I'm not going to finish this one. If you want to see how to finish this type of equation by factorizing, then check out my video on equations with factorizing.